Monsieur Caprioli, merci Monsieur Caprioli thanks you. again for Alors, being with us. We've seen other ways of preventing terrorism, for example, uh, through education. Uh, oui, uh, yes, there's work throughout the whole education system. But again, teachers need to be trained. Teachers are currently being asked to pay attention, to look for signs, to be whistleblowers, but they should be trained for that. And it's obvious that from adolescence, one should pay attention to wayward behaviour from certain boys. It's true, I believe, that interventions like that of the mother of the paratrooper who was assassinated in 2012 are a model to be developed because we're getting into the heart of the problem. It's not a video being shown. It's a woman who lost her son and who explains what she went through and the tragedy that radicalization causes. Do you think it's reasonable to say that we'll have to learn to live with this terrorist threat in Europe, for better or worse? I believe that in Europe we will have to live with this terrorist threat, especially since it comes from within and from without. We know that the situation in Iraq, the situation in Syria, the situation in the Sahel are having repercussions on our territory. And so long as these problems are not resolved, as long as these huge questions like the relationship between between North and South, the problem of Palestine and Israel are not settled, we will unfortunately have to live with this threat.